this is the real Tom Rose, and uh, this is this is a really interesting problem here. First of all, um, you have an angle inscribed in a circle, and and you're given a measure of the arc that you're dealing with, um, and they're giving you the measure. Make sure that you're understanding the right arc. They're actually giving you the measure of this arc, ABC, and that's three half pi radians. Now you could solve this whole problem using three half pi radi radians. I would prefer actually to switch to um, the easier to handle arc AC. And the sum of all the radians in a circle is two pi. So if I have three halves pi eaten up by the blue, I must have one half, I'll put it right here, one half pi radians um, in the red zone there. So, so okay, now knowing that, we can proceed onward. Now, there is a, uh, I don't have any memorized relationship between angles inscribed in circles and arc length. However, I do have something memorized for angles drawn from the center of the circle. So if you tell me an arc length is 1 half pi, the measure of the angle cut from the center of the circle is also 1 half pi. In fact, that is the definition of something measured in radians. It's actually a measure of arc length, not of angle. But so this angle right here um, that's, car that's uh, cutting out AC, that is that angle corresponds to 1 half pi radians. Now, if you want to convert from radians to degrees, right? Suppose we want the measure of the angle, not the measure of the arc length. You can take the radians um, and multiply that by um, 360 degrees per every 2 pi radians. And that will give you the measure of the angle in degrees. So let's do that real quick, and we're going to get, let's call this angle x. So we'll do um, 1 half pi radians times 360 over 2 pi. And then we'll do some eliminating of the pi's. We've got 4 in the denominator, so divide 360 by 4 and you'll get 90. So what you're ending up with is 90. 90 degrees is the measure of angle x. Okay, now there's a relationship between x and y. So if you have if you have an angle coming from the center of the circle and you have an angle inscribed in the circle and they both trace the same arc, which is exactly what we have, x and y trace the same arc, one's inscribed, one is from the center. The inscribed one, the y, will have half the measure of x. That's something that you need to have memorized, that y equals, um, the measure of y is one half the measure of x. So if x is 90, then y will equal 45. All right, sorry, I'll skip a step. One half 90, which means that 45 is your answer.